to my grandparents and I usually go after my classes just to eat and hang out and do my homework and just kind of chill out before I go to the gym in a little bit and as you saw I did not eat breakfast I actually had a lot of trouble sleeping last night so I was trying to get every minute I could and I ended up waking up with no time to eat I barely got there on time but uh yeah late late first meal of the day let's let's get it yo Yeah. Uh huh. I need a shift to park. Let's go. I keep on running back to you. I can't lose this time. And no matter what I do, I can't lose my. Okay, dude. So I found this. I just want to know. I just want to know the meaning of this. I keep on running back to you. So what I managed to find were these chicken tenders, two and a half servings per container, 13 grams of protein, and then we have spaghetti. 15 grams of protein in the whole thing, 320 calories. This is going to be like, this is going to be around 420 calories if I eat the whole thing. And then I'm going to just heat up a couple egg rolls probably just to go with it. So 140 per egg roll. So I got this tank top when we and Travis went back to Dallas to go back to that gym and we went to the mall. It was like eight bucks. Only thing I bought. You know me. You know I don't mess with that money blowing business. But we're gonna wash it just because and to see if it'll shrink a little bit because I got a medium but it looks more like a large. Oh my gosh yes. This is awesome. Okay guys. Welcome to the first ever food review on the channel. We will be reviewing Lean Cuisine's spaghetti. Let's just dive into it. You know, I'm not a big spaghetti guy, but for spaghetti, this is actually pretty good. Like, you can microwave a bunch of this, put it in a bowl, and probably serve it to people, and they'll think you made it. Look how long my finger looks. Oh my gosh. Whoa, look how long it looks. Wait, that gives me an idea. dark wow that's epic so I just now realized it's past five which means the YMCA is gonna be so crowded let's go and my tank top's not dry yet and for some reason my heart hurts but so I'm not sure if anyone will be working out with me today Travis decided to go to his fancy pantsy little rich boy personal training gym you know personally I think I have the mental capacity to, to train myself you know as you can as you can tell, oh yeah. And Lindsay is currently getting her nails done, but she might meet me after, I don't know. No promises, I guess. Might just be lifted alone and crying, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Also, you're probably asking, why are you outside, Kenny? I'm trying to absorb energy from the sun. Duh, idiots. Come on, come on, I need my tank top. I need my tank top in there. All right guys, I'm gonna show you something really cool. Okay, watch, ready, ready? This is gonna be epic, watch. Guys, it's so hot and humid. Sing back to Burgundy, hunted up on my norm. You're the beast. Can you please pay for me? So, guys, I know I said that it's gonna be super crowded since it was past five and everyone's off work and stuff. There's gonna be a bunch of cars, but as it turns out, actually, I was completely right. I was right. Ah! <sighs> <laughs> when looking for adventure, don't have to tell me twice. We won't surrender. I can see it in your eyes. When looking for redemption, but to my surprise, 
Sure. I share an Oreo hand. I almost just said handshake. <laughs> How was your workout? It was great. Wow, brilliant description of the workout, Lindsay. Thanks. You really killed it so far. <laughs> oh, Lindsay, you're stupid. I'm in park. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh, ah! You're stupid now. You? Good job. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, a number nine with no sour cream. Two shredded chicken burritos. Is this Tikka? It's Tikka. Never mind, it's not Tikka. Hello? What's <laughs> it doing? Ew, look at my nose. Uh... Just use all my battery while you're at it. Two car breakfast. We got rice, chicken, and veggies. We got a cup of blueberries, and we got a shake. Oh, and the, how nice of Lindsay! She left her shake in here from yesterday. No, that caramel cappuccino protein powder I put in there. Never tried it before. I got it as a sample. It tastes pretty dang epic. So I'm just chilling right now, watching Christian Guzman. Uh, that's that's him right there. But uh, yeah. I'm just chilling right now. Don't know if anyone's gonna lift with me today. Travis is kind of iffy. And Lindsay's gone for band camp, I know, right? Nerd. It's currently one. Um, as you see, I had that late breakfast right before class, and then I just ate a chicken salad egg sandwich. Um, and then I'll probably just chill and then have an actual meal in like an hour or so. But for right now, you know, it's just good vibes. Watching the new Christian Guzman upload, it sure does make me feel like my vlogs are complete garbage. You know, I really don't understand why I have so much acne. So I wasn't planning on eating this. It's just a turkey pot pie. I was like, oh, whatever. Not, not that epic. But then I saw 500... And 80 calories. Okay, well it's not gonna focus. So I actually forgot pre, but I had, I had these nitric oxide pills that were in my bag, and there is just a just a little bit of pre in there. Won't hurt to, I guess, drink it with this. I don't know. Bro, we're just rocking green. Look, we got the green cup, green pills, green shirt, green tank top, and green socks. You know, I usually like like a nice shirt that fits me, that makes my chest look nice, that fits my arms decent, makes me look the size I am, but also sometimes you just gotta wear an XL rocket, be stupid comfy, and yeah, it makes my twig arms look like toothpick arms, but it's the price you pay for comfort. Looks like they are taking all the siding off that side of the Y. I guess it's because they're conjoining everything. You got them boots on, bro. So I didn't end up recording any of my workout whatsoever. I just, I don't know, it was kind of crowded and I just really wanted to focus. I did a lot of pull downs because I would really like my lats to grow. Ooh, ooh, look at that. 
Look at that. Look at that sick car window pump. So I recorded a really, really stupid rant of me just being dumb and not being able to formulate my thoughts. And I was going to play it over my workout, but since I didn't end up recording, I'm just going to play it now with the clips from the rest of the day. I need to go home and let my dogs out and eat. You know how it is. So, uh, yeah. Teleporting you back in time now. <laughs> I'll probably just play this with the workout, you know, it's kind of a commentary type thing. Hot! Oh my gosh! It's like a rant, by the way. This is nothing. You can obviously skip this if you really want to. I just have this feeling, like this sense of like, I don't know if it's with the videos or what, but it's like something's like waiting. I don't know how to reach it. Like, I think I'm a pretty capable person. Like, my, my videos aren't the best, but I want them to be. I want them to go and, like, evolve and get there where they're really good. And I hope that that's the route. I don't know if it's going to be vlogs. I don't know if it's going to be my other ideas. I end up turning into videos that I, I really need to start working on. It's just been so busy with school. I mean, that's no excuse, but it's just a sense that there's something out there waiting for me. There's a life, there is a goal, there is an achievement waiting out there, and I just, I'm not actively running that race yet. And like, I want to be. There's things I want to do, there's things I want to create, there's things I want to collaborate with, there's all these things I want to, I, I'm sure it's just part, like, my anxiety, been getting kind of present more. That really doesn't affect me too much. I still have fun, I still do things I need to do, but recently I just feel like I'm worried that all these days, all this time right now is going to pass and the things I want to achieve, that, that road I want to take, the race I want to run, I'm worried I'll miss it. I'm worried I'll drive too far or I'll, I'll just miss the opportunity and I just don't. And obviously like the channel is a huge thing, I mean I have, I don't have much, I have like 600 subscribers and about 30 of them watch my videos, but it will be a goal to one day have people all around the world that I can interact with that will give me a platform to go and do the other things I want to accomplish. And right now it just feels like I'm just trying to find it, trying to achieve something, and I'm just not sure, like I understand, like I like the vlogs, I really like making the vlogs, I think it's fun, especially when it's with friends and stuff, and I like impl implementing the health and the calories and the bone to bulk and the workout stuff, but like at the same time, let's be honest, other than like Casey Neistat, David Dobrik, people... Most people get views and attention from YouTube from other things at first. Like it's that one video that somehow gets put on the homepage or just gets recommended to a bunch of people. And then those people come, they subscribe, they like you, and then they start watching your vlogs. So I feel like vlogs, at least at the state that I am currently making them, aren't going to equate to that much growth. And again, I feel like that's kind of my fault. I feel like if I could just add more things, if I could alter more things, add more stories, add more funny parts, skits, cinematic elements, you know, like, maybe that would be different, I'm just, I don't know, I'm rambling right now, like, and it's almost the same with fitness, except I'm, I'm on that track, and I'm just, it's just such a marathon, I want to get very much stronger, I want to get very much bigger, this current state, I'm like, whatever, I'm plain looking, and I'm not trying to be like, an IFBB pro, but at the same time, learning as much as I can about fitness, learning as much as I can about health and nutrition, that will open doors for me to use through YouTube, to use through a bunch of mediums, to find opportunities in those fields, if that makes sense. I guess the message of this is to know where your finish line is, and not not like, oh, you reach that, you're done, but more like a goal, a checkpoint, and know how you're going to achieve that and reach that. And it'll make it everything so much easier. Because regardless, if you're heading towards it, you're making progress, you're making accomplishments, versus if you were just aimlessly wandering, on too many paths, too many directions, not honed in on what really matters. That's all for now. Sorry about that. If you skipped it, that's chill. The phone's ringing, so I guess that's a good way to end it.